Cobra Kai finally released the first part of its sixth and final season. We've been waiting. Wait, let me search how long it's been. Two years for this? What? It's been two years. No wonder I felt like something was missing. Anyway, Cobra Kai is finally back and we are so ready for another action-packed series. Okay, so since we're reaching the beginning of the end of this fantastic show, I just want to say that it's so amazing that we've reached this far. Usually, sequels and spin-offs don't find success or get cancelled after the main movie or show because they tend to lose their original magic or producers just rely on people's nostalgia to get them to watch. So I'm really glad Cobra Kai is genuinely a great show. And actually, that's what we're here to talk about. Hi, I'm Zidney. And here's why I think Cobra Kai is so great. Nostalgia and Continuity I first watched Cobra Kai because I love The Karate Kid. And I believe that's what also pushed a lot of people to begin the series. We all want to know what happens to Daniel LaRusso and Johnny Lawrence after the Karate Kid franchise. Character Development And not only do we know what happens to them, we actually see them grow. I'm really glad that Cobra Kai managed to flesh out previously one-dimensional characters such as Johnny Lawrence and even Kreese on why he is the way he is. I especially love what they did with Johnny Lawrence. It was really refreshing to see him grow from a typical bully to a more complex and relatable anti-hero. Interesting new characters and story not only does the show give our original characters more compelling backstories, but they also introduce new characters who are equally interesting and relatable. In the first season, Johnny Lawrence enters into a sensei student relationship with his annoying teenage neighbor, Miguel. And it was so fun to see him be a sort of Mr. Miyagi to a sort of Daniel LaRusso with Miguel being a new kid too. Balance of humor and drama. Cobra Kai is also so funny. A favorite of mine is Johnny just shouting, Quiet! Such a short and simple line, yet it makes me chuckle every time he says it. And at the same time, there were a lot of moments in the show that brought me to tears, especially when Daniel remembers Mr. Miyagi, or with what happened to Miguel in the season 2 finale. Action-packed series of course, what truly sets Cobra Kai apart from typical comedy shows is its dynamic and well-choreographed action sequence. The series features a lot of, well, karate. Fun fact, but I feel like you guys probably already know this, but Jackie Chan's The Karate Kid actually revolves around Kung Fu. I actually didn't know that and honestly don't know the difference between Kung Fu and Karate. But good to know, I guess. It was called The Karate Kid as a direct reference when Dre was called The Karate Kid by his bullies. Anyway, back to Cobra Kai. So this show highlights intense fight scenes that are relevant to the story. One of my favorite fight scenes was between Sam and Devon in Season 5. Spoiler alert! When the ref was unfairly calling out the hits, they knew that something was up. So Daniel told Sam to make every point undeniable. And throughout the fight, I was just in awe of how well choreographed each move was. Relevant Themes Next, the show manages to talk about relevant themes without being too preachy about it. The show tackles themes such as bullying, gray areas, identities, impact of unresolved conflicts, family dynamics, redemption, and second chances to name a few. It was funny to see Miguel educate Johnny about what you can or can't say anymore. And seeing the characters grow from their insecurities and overcome challenges was one of the most rewarding moments in Cobra Kai. But honestly, what makes Cobra Kai really great is their fantastic writing. As I've said before, most sequels and spin-offs don't find roaring success because producers solely rely on people's nostalgia to get them to watch them. I think Cobra Kai could have been dangerously cheesy, but I'm glad the producers and writers of this show actually care about giving its audience a compelling and well thought out story. Some episodes even have such good opening scenes that quickly capture the episode's main plot. And for me, that's why Cobra Kai came this far. 
So, there you have it. Reasons why I think Cobra Kai is great. I'm really glad that I got curious as to what happened to Daniel and Johnny after the Karate Kid. And I have never looked back ever since. If you haven't watched this show yet, I 100% recommend it. It's so good. And for those who are already Cobra Kai fans, what are we waiting for? Let's watch the sixth season. Put one of those hash browns at the end, you know, like hash brown team Cobra Kai or something. And then send it to the internet! Hi guys, so honestly, since it's been two years since we got season 5, I sort of forgot what had happened. Guess I'll just have to rewatch the entire 5 seasons again as we wait for part 2 of season 6 in November. What's taking so long? By the way, I just want to apologize if you hear a lot of noise at the background of my recording. It's really frustrating for me to record. Honestly, I have to deal with this every single time. Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.